listen, honey, if I told you about the way that I felt. Hey you, welcome back. Please excuse my voice. I've been a little sick, but we're back now. In this video, I'm going to be making an apron and I'm just going to take you along with it. I originally was thinking of needing an apron for my pottery class, but I kind of liked the design of the more kitcheny aprons more, so it's kind of what I ended up making. I can still make another one. Anyway, if I'm gonna cook, I have an apron now. It's great. Alrighty, so I am first taking measurements. I measure around my waist, but not completely. I leave a little bit of a gap because there's gonna be a bow. And then I measure how tall and also how wide I want the front part piece thingy, the apron piece to be. And I also measure how long the straps need to be at least. You can also measure how long your skirt is gonna be, but I actually sewed the skirt on longer length and then I cut the size that I wanted. These are my measurements, feel free to copy them if you are my size or not, that's probably gonna fit pretty much everybody. So I'm cutting out the pieces and while doing that I'm actually just using the piece of fabric that I have to the best of my abilities. So I actually made the straps the exact length that I had of my fabric which was um, 1.5 meters. So yeah. So give me your mom and show me the baby And the first thing I'm doing is sewing the straps right sides together to make a tunnel i'm also making a pointed end and i actually marked it as well to get it perfect and then i sewed all the way down on one side And then you just want to cut that corner off, cut the corner corner off. And then I turn it inside out with a crochet hook. And you want to make sure your fabric is nice and pulled out. But also very important, you are going to need to iron it. I also ironed everything else as well because it was a little wrinkly. Here is the front piece. I'm going to sew that right sides together, but only on the left side and on the right side, because I'm gonna add the straps in the next step. Here you can see, now I have a tunnel and I'm gonna insert my straps from the bottom and push them all the way to the sides. So there will be somewhat of a seamless look. I pin those tightly and I can sew along that line. I then flip it inside out. Oh, and don't forget to cut the corners as well, which I did, so <laughs> pull it back out. Cut those corners off, not too much, so your seam will still be stable. I then proceeded by placing the waistband above and below the top, so I sandwiched it in between, everything right sides touching. And I pinned all the way to both sides of the waistband and I also sewed the ends of the waistband, like the 45 degree angle, so it would make a nice little corner for me as well. As you can see here, I am twisting and then sewing that corner. 
And when you do that, you can flip everything outside out again and also snip those corners. And I highly recommend ironing it. The next step is cutting out your skirt piece and hemming the sides. You don't actually need to hem the bottom yet if you are unsure about the length. So I'm just gonna fold over each side twice and sew that down. Next up, I'm gonna sew two rows of basting stitches all along the top of my skirt and then I'm gonna pull on the top two strands on each side and I'm gonna ruffle up my piece so that it fits inside my waistband. I actually also left a piece on the side of the waistband to make the loops for the straps to go through later so I'm only gonna pin the skirt till right up there. Next up, I'm gonna flip the skirts right sides together with the front of my um, apron and I'm gonna pin it along that fold that I ironed for myself just to know which what the straight edge is and where my ruffles are gonna go. And I try to pin them as evenly as possible and I always pin in the middle of both seams so I can later remove those super easily. Now I am just checking if it's good. It's good, that's how it's supposed to be. And now I can sew it down. And then you can flip it out and master at your skills. I mean, what? And then what you wanna do is pull out those basting stitches. This might be difficult or it might be easy. I sometimes struggle with it. After that is done, I like to iron down that seam just so that it lays downwards. And now we're gonna do the stitch in the ditch method. So the front of the apron is now facing downwards and I am going to fold over the back side of my waistband but I'm folding it over just a tiny bit over the seam I have previously done so it can cover it and make it look super nice from the inside and the outside as well. So I'm just checking and I'm gonna pin it at a couple points but I'm actually going to be pinning it from the outside and I'm gonna sew inside the stitch that the previous stitch has made uh, which is why I'm just grabbing it, making sure it overlaps, and then I pin from the outside and I can see if I aligned the fabric properly where my pin lands on the inside. If all of that is done, you can um, flip it and sew it from the outside. I am also going to be closing the back loops on the bottom and I'm trying to just merge that into the stitch in the ditch method here. This is kind of a top stitch that I'm beginning with. I will sew that opening all the way closed and then I will move on to go inside of that stitch. And I also pull the fabric a little bit so that I can stay right in there. And here at the end, you can see I'm going from the ditch to a top stitch. 
And this is how it looks in the end. In the back you have your fabric caught and in the front it looks like nothing ever happened. And now I'm going to fold over my loop-de-loop -loop things. These are super nice and finished on all edges now. And I'm actually just gonna top stitch them down from the back side so they will form a loop. And after I have done that I'm gonna place my straps inside them and actually try it. I um, still have to decide on the length of my um, skirt bottom piece and I did that by trying it on and marking the length I wanted and cutting that down. For the bottom I made a little bit of a wider hem folding it over twice as well but just a little bit more like two centimeters maybe. I also decided to add a little pocket on one side. You're just gonna do that by cutting out your preferred size, folding the top over twice, sewing that down, and then coming back to the iron and folding over each side a half centimeter or a centimeter and just ironing that down really well. I also use pins. And then I will place that on my skirt piece. I had previously marked where I wanted it to go. So I'm just pinning it from the top and I'm going to sew all the way around except for the top so I can still put my hand inside. Got too overwhelming, so I started running. It stopped being fun and making myself numb isn't helping. I got to learn to deal with the way I feel. If this is reality, don't know what I expected. Just and here it is. I decided to have my straps go um, across, like in a cross formation across my back. And I pulled them through the loops, and you can just make a little bow. It looks super nice and finished from the outside. You can see no stitching, literally, um, except for the hem. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's how you make a super nice and finished apron. I hope you enjoyed. Wish you all a lovely Sunday and I'll see you next time. Bye! Stay here and watch the flame Now I'm focusing on all my breathing Floating on this feeling burning sage Maybe that was clever, now I'm feeling better Even though I know